building was built in 1926, and it's a very, very fine example of Art Deco cinemas. It's one of the best in the country, generally acknowledged to be. And I think half the neighbourhood spent their childhood going there, including just about every famous person you can imagine. It's a very, very special building, not only for its architecture, but also for, its, for the memories that people have of it. Now, it hasn't been given protected status in the past. You know, campaigners have tried to stop the development from the get-go. Development is starting, but you say that there's been new discoveries. Yeah, I think the um, the the building um, should have always been listed, um, and it's been said by um, many people that the uh, all the original interior was there. We've always said it was always there, and um, it's not really been properly in inspected. Um, a report was commissioned by um, one of the early earlier developers and um, that was um, used by English Heritage um, and you know the features are there. And what know. features are we talking about? We have some images oh, to look at. Oh it's exquisite. Um, the photographs show it's um, as the architectural drawings it's ornate plaster it's like like going, it looks like beautiful in the photographs, gold, gilt, and plaster work, beautiful, huge, um, uh, well, it looks almost like a theater in the photographs, just incredible. Now, planning permission has been granted for this development to go ahead, which is a mixture of luxury flats as well as a cinema, although not in its original placing. Yes. Wh where does that stand then? What's the current position? Mm, it's interesting because it went to uh, the planning committee and we actually turned it down. We thought it was a step too far for our beautiful Ken High Street, which is dying on its feet, sadly. We need something which is going to bring people in there. We turned it down. It went to appeal and, um, and the, uh, our decision was overturned, which is a huge shame. Um, um, and I really think the planning inspectorate needs to listen to what local councillors know. Um, and, you know, the, the, uh, the council as well, I'm afraid, are making a very poor decision by firstly not having it, allowing it to be declared as an asset of community value. And they do have a bit of a record of this, having knocked down the old uh, Kenston Town Hall overnight, which was absolutely disgraceful in the early 80s. Uh, just before it got listed, so they got a bit of a record here. We have to treasure our beautiful historic buildings. They're part of the nuts and bolts of this neighbourhood. Uh, people really welcome, really value our historic buildings, and just turning it into some kind of Disney version of Kensington isn't good enough. We need to keep our buildings as much as we can, and this is very special. Okay, yeah. well, let's have a listen, first of all, just very quickly to Historic England, who we went to for a comment. Um, they said, we inspected the Kensington Odeon in 2007 and in 2013. Our advice to the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, both then in 2007 and 13, acknowledges that the cinema has a striking facade and retains some decorative internal features, notably the marble-clad staircase. We accepted that more decorative finishes may be concealed by modern cladding, but the original plan and principal spaces have been radically altered, and the interior overall bears very little resemblance to its original form. No significant new information was presented in 2013 that caused us to reconsider our recommendations. So an acknowledgement of some key features there, but they say not enough. Well, it's a complete failure, isn't it? Because English Heritage are saying there's marble staircases in their recognition, solid marble staircases that millions of people have walked up and then that's not protected by RBKC planning. This has got to stop right now. It's got to stop right now. English Heritage have got to put a stop order on it, and the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea have got to put a stop order on it. This is Belt and Braces. This is Hitchcock's cinema. He lived around the corner. There's a blue plaque on his flat, and what's happening? We're flattening it. This is international heritage. You know, we have every Hollywood stars go there, premieres are there in London, and you're just going to flatten it. This is wrong. This has got to stop. The Royal Borough's got to stop it, English Heritage has got to stop it, and the, even the Minister of Culture has got to stop it. It has got to be stopped. This is not a gold envelope going wrong. This is not a gold envelope. This is a building that's been there for 90 years, a super cinema of historical importance, one of the best cinemas. I, I haven't really been to a better one in England. Hmm. 